Hey guys, it's Angels. Welcome back to another killer video. And you guys, I'm so excited. They finally gave Trapper an add on rework and a slight base kit rework that he's needed for so long. So I'm super excited. We're going to be playing two games with Trapper today. I'm sorry, my voice sounded weird there. Scratch my face. Um, we're going to be playing two games with Trapper today. First off, we'll be using our uh, coffee grounds for 5% extra haste while at the, uh, right after setting a trap. And the makeshift wrap so that if I walk through a trap, it actually disarms itself and doesn't trap me. The idea behind this is just kind of trying to take chases really aggressively with it. And after that, we'll be using the honing stone, which will, of course, uh, down people if they escape from a trap themselves. Alongside a tension string, I don't know, just for something cool that can come out of that. Because this essentially just makes that whenever a survivor escapes a trap, it gets reset two seconds later. So anyways guys, hopefully we can have some fun games with this and I'll see all of you in the games. Alright, well, well we're on the Rutgers yard here and guys seriously, I am so, so excited for this. For this, for this uh, rework that he got. We can hold two traps by default baby! Alright, we saw two people heading in towards the killer shack there. Oh yeah, I forgot that he runs now. I'm gonna wait a second here. Yeah. So uh, the idea behind this, by the way, is I want to drop a trap right there. Interesting choice. And this way I can just loop it uh, normally in a way she wouldn't expect me to. That could absolutely catch her off guard. Mm. She took it a little wider than she would have liked. Close check pop down. That's fine. Look how much value she got out of blinding me twice there, guys. Also, someone just set up a boon totem somewhere. Hey. Okay. Mine. <laughs> She'll have to take some time to reset that. Not sure what the plan is there for her. I heard her footsteps back here. Hmm, this could just end the game right here if they're not careful. Ooh, nice. Okay. I'm gonna come pick her up. Fuck off with your boon totem bullshit! I'm gonna get a hit on her up here for free. Thank you, Michaela. Okay, that's her healing back there with the boon totem. We'll pick uh, Meg up first because she would be the more likely one to have a breakable right here. Mm, I have agitation. I can afford to to mess around here for a little bit. Damn, that boon totem lets you heal so quick. Are you still here? Uh, she has both the perks on it. Um. So the, the spoon tone is like making it so she can heal and her teammates on my left, so that's why they heal so quick. They can heal really quickly and also they're just uh, gonna have no scratch marks, which is pretty cool. Oh, I took the sleep very wrong. Let's see if we can catch a survivor in a trap. Okay, that was weird. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting her to play like that. I'm. Damn, really? Okay, she keeps with us in the same boon totem, which is fine by me, because she's not really getting uh, all that much out of it. I'm not really over there right now. Yeah, they can heal heal up quickly, but... And? <laughs> Who cares? Something else that's pretty cool that you can do with this build, by the way, you can just literally set up a shitload of traps uh, with this atom, rather, the one that lets you step in your own traps. You can just set up a shitload of traps next to the um, next to the basement or something like that, and just have your way with it. Be, when the moment you down anyone near, you can just walk in there willy nilly and not have to worry at all about having to um, what's it called about stepping in your own trap or anything like that. It's really really cool. This add-on's actually awesome too. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna set this right here. Gain my Increase movement speed. Oh, whoops. Once 
find this that they trigger that. I can still hear her to the left there, yeah. That's why I was waiting in the bus for a moment there. I was just listening for her breathing, seeing where she would go. She should have. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this. That just gonna be done behind me, I'm not too worried about it though. <laughs> I was just waiting uh, right there for a second. Sorry, I, I know I keep going quiet every once in a while. I'm gonna pretend like I'm running that poorly, and there we go. So the reason I just stood there and I waited for a little bit was because um, I didn't want her to know exactly where I was, and I broke line of sight with her by doing so. Okay. Sorry, Jen. I knew they had any progress on, so something to keep in mind. Make sure I face a wall here. We are playing extremely nice right now, by the way, guys. We're going for chases on se on several different people. All that kind of shit. But, um, yeah, basically when I broke line of sight with her over there, it made it so that she thought that I was going in a certain direction when I wasn't. I looked to the right here when I approached this girl to try and convince her that I was someone somewhere other than where I was. This ain't getting worked on. Okay. Looks like it's time to start playing. Uh, to stop playing as nice. I'm thinking. We do have a decent spread of generators. I don't want to chase her for a couple reasons. Actually, she's my obsession. For one, I don't really want to lose stacks. And second, we know this girl is back here. I'm happy to take this hit. But we are going to be going for the girl that we've hooked before. She's running to an area of the map that I have pretty trapped up. Or, well, not pretty trapped up, but, you know, I have trapped up. She have dead heart? I can't remember. Yep. That's alright. I didn't want her to trigger the trap. Actually, really good of her there to make sure to trigger it. Because that basically just informs her. I didn't want to get it. That basically just informs the rest of her team. Hey, you're really bad with flashlights, Megan. I have time for this. I love agitation. I love saving the best for less. And I can just drop her here? <laughs> That's still good to go, baby. Let's go. What a fucking change of pace. Hi, guys. Meg already got picked up. What the fuck? That's insane. Oh, my bad. Bad swing on my part. Awesome. And I hear Megan. Make sure to hit Michaela first there, because I've saved us for last, and Unbreakables will be used here. What the fuck was that animation? I'm gonna pretend I'm respecting it. Smart. I shouldn't have kicked it actually, because that means that she can get back there in time to potentially get another pickup. Nope. <laughs> Agitation is save the best for last, baby. <laughs> That's why I love these perks on Trappers so much. I like them in general, but I feel like they work really well on Trappers since with him. Look at these two guys crawling into the corner like I'm not going to be able to get where I want to. Yeah, these add-ons are actually pretty cool. I like them a lot. These might be my new main add-ons that are on Trapper. Because, um... The, for one, the haste status effect, I mean... It's just nice. <laughs> it's not really as effective in this scenario, necessarily. Um... The reason being... Uh, you end up wasting a lot more time setting up the trap than you would just walk in there normally. Hey, thank you for not moving. It's very kind of her. Um, but in a loop, for example, I mean, you saw a couple of times there, if a survivor gets to a pallet with this kind of, with these add-ons, this kind of build, when they're stuck in an, uh, in an area where they can't really leave willy-nilly, it makes it so that, oh, uh, I have nowhere to hook this girl. Probably should have hooked the mag a little closer to the middle of the map and used that hook for this girl. I should make it down here, I think, though. Unless I get unless I get caught on the table. Yeah, I was trying to drop her on the stairs in a way that would benefit me, but unfortunately wasn't able to. 
And my objective here is to try and pick up a trap before before she gets anywhere too useful. The reason being exactly what we just talked about. If I can get her uh, sectioned off. Okay. I'm not sure if she dead hearted or if she just stood still and I played around at 360, but that was kind of silly. Um, but yeah, it's like I was saying, basically, <laughs> so the idea is, let's say they run to this jungle gym right here, right? You have a long wall jungle gym, and they run straight to the pallet, they run straight through it, you can set a trap right here. They're vaulting the window at this point, you have increased movement speed, you can potentially go for a bit of a mind game like this, you know, and catch them off guard because you're moving a little bit quicker. It's giving you the... It's almost like having play with your food on, on demand, except obviously not all the time. These are really cool add-ons. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> Seriously, this, this is such a great change for my favorite killer. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, let's get on to the next game. I'm really curious to see how these two items are going to work together. All right, I've been trying to record this game for like, what feels like 20 minutes at this point. I tried to get in two more lobbies and both the lobbies crashed, I think. It said a survivor disconnected, but I'm guessing they probably crashed. Hey buddy, I heard her breathing. Okay, I was gonna trap this, but sure, I'll take that. So part of me can't help but wonder if Dead by Daylight or Behavior somehow biffed it and uh, fucked up the servers again somehow to where people are having trouble. Sorry, I thought I heard grass. To where people are having trouble uh, loading in. That would be unfortunate. Hey! And if she gets out, that trap gets rearmed right away. If somebody helped her out, I know. Because um, she's injured, not down. I don't think this Michaela really is going to trap her anymore. And I want the Michaela because I have to the blessed. Nice. If I break this here, she doesn't really have much where she can go. And since she doesn't have Iron Will, she gains literally nothing out of that. I'm going to chase from this direction. Hopefully, he'll run into the trap. No, that's fine. I want to get a hit on this bill for the stack or the pallet then. We don't commit to him there. I should have probably picked up that trap that was next to where I hit him, but it's alright. I try to face the wall as best I can. I think there was a couple flashlights in here. We'll bring your... Bill healed very quickly. This Bill did as well. Alright, we can take her over to here. Thanks to agitation. Make sure to walk backwards here so she can't just sneak out and unhook under me. The other girl got the sun hook on. I borrowed time. I'm more than happy to play this this way. Make sure I moonwalk around this corner. I got caught on the wall there. We're very early in the game. If I can get a decisive spot right now, I'm fine with it. If not, she's on second state. Awesome. That Kate farmed the fuck out of this Michaela. And I'm going to take advantage of it. That groan that Trapper does is still kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. I wish I could set up, but these guys are just swarming me. Dude, are you- okay, I'm not going to farm her this time. Dude, okay, you know what? Fuck this girl. She keeps running directly at me with barred time. It is not my- my bad. You literally already took that trap, dummy. <laughs> I'm in such a great spot here. These guys are just throwing away their opportunity. Ah! They're throwing away. I'm gonna. I'm playing super nice right now. And going for somebody other than Michaela. I should go for her and take her out of the game right now. That is the correct play to make. They're healing back here somewhere, and I want to interrupt it. Bill's already healed again. His med kit lets him heal real quick, huh? Alright, like I said, 
these guys, if these guys want to play super aggressive, super dumb, I'm gonna go ahead and show them exactly what happens when you do. They had literally no reason to unhook her. That Michaela probably had a very boring game, and I, I'm sorry about that. Sorry for her, but these guys aren't letting me set up. Whatsoever. I'm gonna take this trap and just... Oh, right, I have two traps in my hand. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's not really my fault when the survivors literally refuse to do anything but just farm the person off hook with borrowed time. Borrowed time isn't a, uh, oh, we can just uh, consistently uh, farm the person off hook over and over again and they'll be perfectly safe. No, especially with the way that Michaela played that, running directly at me with the borrowed time, I'm going to, I'm going to play uh, a little differently around that like I would normally, because, especially because I saved the best for last, I knew I saved the best for last save the best for last because of how quickly I was recovering. You know, it's not like it's a secret or something. There's no real good grass to trap around that, unfortunately. Just gonna have to go for some basic traps, I think. I brought I brought a map offering for this map, by the way, hoping that I would get some good RNG in terms of the grass that's fun around the, um, around the generators out here. Hey, Bill. I mean, you can teabag that. Okay, you can teabag all you want. I have somebody down on hook extremely early, and I don't need to commit to a chase on the side of the map whatsoever. I have three gens back here, which is why I'm defending. And worst comes to worst, we have Blood Warden, which could potentially help us out in the late game. We're gonna go ahead and pre trap this gate, just in case it comes down to it. Please. Thank you. I did make one mistake though throughout that chase, which was um, when the Kate stepped into trap for the second time, I actually hit her out of it. I should have let her struggle out of it because e either somebody would have helped. Eh, I mean, I guess technically the Fane could have helped her out, which would have been a little bit worse for me than just uh, downing her, of course. But uh, based on where the Fane was, I wasn't super confident she'd be trying for something like that. So we're gonna place this by the way on the inside here. It's a little less, a little more difficult to see, especially if they're tearing around that corner as quickly as possible. I just heard footsteps. I don't really care if that build T bags, if I'm gonna be honest. Not really my issue whatsoever. Bag all he wants doesn't change the fact that I have a three gen back here that I have had more than enough time to trap up because they gave me such an early kill. They can do gens on the other side of the map all they want. I could not give the remotest of shits. Truly. I already got this call out, right? Yep. Yeah, so they're in a position where they kind of dead zoned themselves in the middle of the map here. The couple of traps that there are up. Or sorry, the couple of piles that there are up. He ran for killer check, by the way. This guy. I think. The couple of piles that are up, I do have traps nearby. They're healing under the hook, I think. Otherwise, I think I would have seen the run away. Not worth it. Because guess who has to save the best for last? Dude, I, again, like I said, if I wanted to play mean every single game, this is how I would play. If survivors are going to make mistakes, uh, I'm going to punish them. Fuck it. I don't play like this often. And you killed yourself. Not really, but I know where the other girl is now. Nice. Yeah, I don't think these guys understand how shitty of a position they're in. It doesn't against Trapper, uh, the majority of the time it doesn't matter how many gens you're at, <laughs> because especially with the kill this early in the game, yeah. These guys played this really, 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 really cocky in a way that just hurt them truly. I want to potentially drop this guy if I can. Nah, I don't think he's gonna let me though. He's gonna run away because he heard the trap go down. Yeah. K 
Kate had unbreakable. I'm not really surprised, doesn't matter. She doesn't really. She doesn't make it to the other golden time, I don't think. And even if she does, again, I'm not in a bad spot at all. He just kept going in this direction. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this trap since we're here and uh, set it at the door. Unbreakable does buy them some time to reset, kind of gather them. Sorry, I thought I heard him inside. Uh, it does buy them some time to kind of gather themselves, try and regroup, figure out how they can potentially turn this back around. Which, to be fair to them, it's not unlosable by any means. They do have pretty good gates, and the gen spread, if I don't defend these gens, is pretty, uh, pretty difficult. I'm not too worried about it. That gen has no progress on it, pretty much. And I couldn't really get a good look at that gen. That's my crow flying down in the middle of the map. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this game I did play a lot more scummy than the last couple games. Or just in, that I do in general. Generally. Hey, guys. Hey guys. Yeah, Walker. Where are they? I'm just gonna double check this locker. That's not double check really. No idea where they where they are. I think they're hiding in this building somewhere. Bill's not hiding in here, that's for sure, because he uh he doesn't have iron wheel, it's pretty loud. But I don't really care that much about this generator. I'm gonna make a beeline back over here. If they do that gen, okay, good for them. We have, look how many traps. We have four traps set up on this side of the map. Uh, sorry, I was listening for that gen. At most, uh, that's rough. Okay, it's whatever though. It's not too bad. I didn't see him running across the right there. Never mind, I did. Well, you run directly at me. Nice. Her unbreakable is down. We know there's no soul guard because of um because I don't have any hex totems. So no soul guard to worry about. We have that ge that generator or that exegate trap. That's why we trapped this exegate, by the way. So that if we do end up in this late game scenario, which to be fair, they played it exactly how they should if they wanted to get a, a four man out. Oh. This feels weird. He was super cocky and then he finally, he actually got in a position where he was scared and he literally just refused to show himself to me the rest of the game. <laughs> Is she still here? Thanks for not crawling too far. That would have been annoying. <laughs> Now he snaps the trap, right? And tries to open the gate in time. That's what I would have done. Call this a uh, Hail Mary trap, I guess. <laughs> I think I just saw a crow fly down right here. Yep, these crows are not mine. Hey, Bill. Pretend I'm breaking the pallet. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, and this is game over. He has literally nothing left to run to here. That hard, remember? Oh no, I swung and I missed. Oh, I was hoping he would run towards that trap. Oh no, I swung and I missed. He's not going where I want. <laughs> 
We didn't really get to see these add-ons in action too much other than that very first interaction when the Kate got trapped in here. She got trapped in here again. They completely think to the, what is it, the spring coil I think it's called? The add-on that lets the trap reset itself two seconds after somebody gets rescued from it or they get themselves out. Um, didn't really, I mean, we did get information out of Honing Stone even if we didn't get an actual down out of it. Excuse me. With Honing Stone you always know uh, if if somebody's in a trap and they get out of it and they're healthy, you know there's two people there. And we used that information to our advantage and went for the Michaela instead of the, I think it was the Kate. And, you know, all around just made solid use of the information and the opportunities we got. Like I said, I don't usually play that scummy, but I kind of wanted to just show what you can do, especially with perks like say the best for last when survivors are silly. And they just bum rush hooks over and over again just to farm someone off hook because they have a hard time. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. Oh, by the way, look at the medkit on Bill. <laughs> very, very solid medkit here with very quick heals and good amount of charges. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, sub, and join the Discord. And I will be putting out videos on probably Pig and Plague later on in the week. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Take care.